Of the plethora of cartoons and shows from your childhood, you do have a handful of favorites, and maybe an overall favorite. My overall favorite would be... Everyone knows about it in some shape or form, either from your memory of watching it all the time on Cartoon Network or a live stream on your YouTube feed. No? No, that part's just me? Okay. Anyway, we all remember how this show actually ended, right? You know, with its final episode, which was also a movie special, The Big Picture Show. Awesome ending to the series. Now, when it comes to the movie, though, there are a couple of things that were scrapped and removed. Not the biggest shocker, happens all the time to pretty much any in every movie. A few scenes and locations of, like, you know, the kids doing one other thing and location shots extended here and there. Whatever. The bigger scenes that I want to talk about that were cut are kind of surprising and explain a few things within the show itself from previous episodes. It all connects together, a theory you could say, and I find it stunning that not many people talk about this exactly. I've only found one real video about it, which is unlisted first of all, and what inspired me to make this video in the first place and because my friend Gio told me that it would be a cool idea. Moving back to the main point of the video though, yes, again, scenes were cut. These scenes in particular happened to be around the campfire moment when the Eds are tired from all the traveling that they've done that day, running away and everything like that and trying to get to Eddie's brother. They would sit around the fire and tell stories about themselves. This would lead into background information from each of the Eds, Mostly Ed and Double D were new information. Ed was supposed to be revealed not to actually have the name Ed. It was something that he came up with and he would call himself just to have a connection with Eddie because he wasn't really great at making friends and then they would soon meet Double D. This would all make up the connections, you know, of them having all similar names in a way. The staff of the show didn't really decide on what his real name would be, but Danny Ananucci, the creator of the show, thought the name Bob would be funny. Most of the staff rolled with the idea of Stanley to be a more fitting name instead. So and that's pretty much it when it came to Ed. Now for Double D's story, because this explains quite a bit for him. There is a pretty well-known scene when the Eds are playing dodgeball, and when Double D is about to get hit, he is pretty much having PTSD. In his story, when he was very young, most likely before he moved and met Ed and Eddie, at his old school, the kids would regularly target him during dodgeball. This would cause him to put that high intellect and pent-up anger against the kids as he would make a cannon that shot dodgeballs back at them. However, the result of this would leave the kids in pretty terrible shape. This is what caused his passive his nature to form, which he had pretty much throughout the whole show, and that mentioned PTSD before. And also explains why in the one episode of Fistful of Ed, he was devastated that majority of the cul-de-sac kids were labeling him as a bully because he kept accidentally hitting people and he did not want to be seen as a bully. It just destroyed him. And if you want to take it a step further, I guess, with the whole mystery of what's underneath his hat, it's most likely a scar he hides that he got from those kids. Channel Frederator came up with that habit. The staff of the show were also debating whether they should really show what's underneath his hat, but ultimately concluded that it would be better left a mystery, not to ruin everyone else's own theory. And no, the Flash game that wasn't made by AK Studios, the people who make it in any, doesn't count. <laughs> Saunas make me sweat! More? <laughs> My eyes! They're burning! Will you stop that? Does it hurt, Double D? Oh, shush! Can we please get down to the business at hand? Thank you. Now to prove that all of this isn't bullshit, 
one of the storyboard artists for the show, Raven Molesi, who funny enough works on Steven Universe, so I guess it's fitting, does have a number of old and netty drawings that she's made, and one of them was Eddie taunting Double D with the dodgeball, while Double D is about to have another mental breakdown from the looks of it. And this was made before the movie, and she does give the whole insight that yes, those scenes were going to be in the movie, but were cut for time and budget reasons as we find out later. Oh, and if you're wondering about Eddie's story, it was just going to be more stories of how cool his brother is, but we all know how that turned out by the end of the movie. Last thing I guess I can say was that there was going to be a psychedelic claymation dream trip from drinking expired gravy, more or less. That was also cut because, you know, the reasons I gave before, time and budget. Though this would also explain how the Eds ended up in the weird positions in the following morning. So, that explains it, I guess. So, yeah. Those are some pretty big details that were left out. Now, because those scenes didn't technically happen, you can consider them not canon as in like, oh yeah, because it didn't actually happen, because I didn't see it, no, I'm not gonna really, you know, go with this theory. Or you go by the notion of that, oh, if this was going to be the original idea, then yeah, it makes a lot more sense when it comes to a number of things within the show. So yeah, I support this theory. Go ahead for either side, do what you want with it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This was just a fun video that I wanted to make because, you know, you know, variety on the channel against for different cartoons and everything like that. But yeah, comments below. Have fun with that. Same thing goes for the links that I provide to all the social media sites. Have fun clicking the links and everything like that. Thank you for watching. That's greatly appreciated, of course. Have a great day. Have a great night. And everything else, you know what to do. Bye.